Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, December 11, 2020 it is, and there I come with more MKUltra proofs. This, I like it. I like these proofs because they do involve two main political parties. Um, two main political parties, uh, they're just settling uh, issues politically, they're doing ch boxing, whatever they're doing, and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the situation, number one, at my advantage, and once I use one at my advantage, then, after I point out more MKUltra proofs, um, then what I'm going to give you a little political comment about the whole thing. I hope Mr. Janis Janša is already back in Slovenia because mm, this could be actually really dangerous for him. I uh, He was in Israel a few days ago. Um, so just about anything can happen after this video. I am not responsible for, for his safety now. Um, first of all, these are proofs about abductions, hijacking from... Miami from Florida from my bed literally where I was taken for a ride or in my sleep they would come and grab me literally put something over my mouth and I would sleep even tired and then the next thing get myself on a plane like a piece of meat uh, I should say transatlantic plane I mean, domestic in the U.S. Of course, I was. I was in Michigan and so on and so forth, all over the U.S. too, California, Texas, and so on, uh, Carolinas. But of course, beside Western Europe, also I found myself in Eastern Europe. In this case, back in Slovenia, the U.S. government have used me literally as a hostage. Uh, for their economic negotiations for a tool uh, more than just a, a hostage basically a tool that uh, a life toy uh, someone that anyone could pretty much do whatever he she pleased with basically like a human toy literally hostage and human toy uh, somehow I did survive the ordeal um, and so We'll continue with more MK Ultra proofs. In this case, really, this is really convenient for me in a way, uh, because there's two political parties that are involved in this uh, argument. In this, uh, uh, they are trying to settle their differences. Um, one political party, I don't, I cannot associate in, in absolutely any way. Um, the other one, I can associate with. But one, I'm going to give you a pretty common. After I present you with proofs, I can absolutely not associate myself with. All right, let's go just to proofs, okay? This here, it's 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 all about this building right now, and this man right here, he is not Otsuya Gospod. I don't know how you would in English. He he was in Israel. And he met this gentleman, his name is Netanyahu, and it's something that uh, I'm going to say, yeah, it deeply angered me, really. This, this is, this is, this is the kind of stuff that I don't like, you know, this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, I don't like it. And I will all explain about this stuff at the end of it, at the end of the video. Um, interesting enough, this issue does not involve only two main political parties, it involves also the state of the Israel in Slovenian relations. This is why this should be a really interesting video. So hold on tight. If you're Israeli, if you're Jew, this should be a really interesting video for you. As I stated, uh, I'm not sure whether this man is already back in Slovenia, but if he's not, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. He had a, he's going to have a hard time coming even back. It's basically, it's like this, right? We're just going to go to, to the Twitter of this individual. And we're just going to read about, about exactly this building here. This is the building here. But this building, a Slovenian government brought me to this building already. Sometimes, God, my God, eh? 
96, 97, and so on and so forth, you know. In this building, there were two people I remember that lived. One was, I think, a mama, a mom, an older lady, I remember. And then there was a younger man, you know, younger. When I say younger, oh, I estimate a mama to be, probably a mom was about, I would say, I estimate, yeah, she really was not young. I think back then she was already like 70, something like that. And the younger man, he was like, yeah, I would give him about like 30, something like that. I would give him 30, 35, 30, something like that I would give him. No, he wasn't that young either. I would give him 35, I tell you what, at least 35, if not even 40. Okay. I probably believe this was her son. Am I sure? No. Do I know who these people were? No. I know they got them a nice place, this is what I was told, but I don't know. I would love to meet them though. I would really like to meet them. I hope they're doing well, fine they are. Uh, but, you know, that's all I know for now. And they would meet me and um, these are just a really, really great people. Nice Slovenian people. Um, this house here, just like um, this individual, Janez Janša is his name, states, uh, it belonged to Moscovich, and Moscovich the parish in Auschwitz. So, Jewish family, Moscovich in the parish in uh, Auschwitz, and so on and so forth, and she is attacking the other political party, and that's a political party of... Uh, Tanya Fayon is her name. This is her name, Tanya Fayon. This is this girl. This is a really nice girl. I'm gonna tell you straight. Uh, this is probably a girl that the uh, state of Israel would actually want as a president, I think. Yeah, I'm not kidding about this. In a little bit, I will explain to you. Uh, this, this is a political party that basically inherited that's political party that it's like a national liberation front resistant the one that fought uh, German Germans Nazis fascists and Hungarian fascists and Italian fascists that occupied Slovenia whose intention was to tear one apart um, they officially took a charge to represent interests of our people uh, who would join partisan movement, liberation, anti-Nazi movement. Um, and have, I'm not going to say inherited Slovenia, because half of the Slovenia was stolen away from us. Um, people like Janez Jansha, like this man here, like this vile individual here that I have demonstrated you earlier, who's got this thing here written down. These are the people that were more than willing also to surrender the other half of Slovenia to the Germans, to Italians, Hungarians. They did not want Slovenia to exist. Instead of that, they wanted to serve to this kind of interest. I promise you I'm going to do this I promise you I will do the political comment at the end, but I'm gonna just go ahead and break the whole thing down. This is like anti-communist um, and stuff like this in Ljubljana. It was not anti-communist. You're gonna see in a little bit, even the Germans were afraid of this guy. This is actually predecessor, predecessor of Janis Jansha. That's why I said if this guy is still in Israel, he might actually have a he might actually need the helmet or something like that to even come out of there. I have no idea what 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 now. But he came up with something so idiotic, and for that matter, I did accuse Benjamin Netanyahu of fascism because this guy is a fascist. This is the guy who would intern Jewish people especially into a lagers. He was the one who was looking for the Jews. He
his assignment was actually to catch the Jews, hand them to the Germans for executions, for imprisonment, for uh, uh, for extermination camp uh, internments. So that this individual is talking about this girl, shit like this is just, uh, I'm going to say, totally, totally unprecedented. So on one side you have a really a partisan movement, uh, and on the other hand you have this here. Uh, let's look what his predecessor looked like. Um, and um, we'll make a conclusion based on this. We could say that these were supporters uh, equal, equivalent to today's supporters of Janus Janus in Ljubljana in 1944. You can see, uh, you know, Uh, these people are Domobranci, and from Mr. Janis Jansha, father also was a Domobranitz. He was, you know, just like I said, you're about to see a predecessor of Domobranci, of, of Janis Jansha right now. Okay, here on the left side you can see Mr. Rupnik. Mr. Rupnik was like someone the Germans would almost fear um, the officers the German officers they, they were they were afraid of the individuals like this 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 was not a laughing matter you, you're gonna see what it looked like he was a general general Leon Rupnik Slovenian guy uh, you're gonna see now All right, what you are watching right there, these are, these are Germans, Italians, top officers next to him. Um, if you would just happen to be a Jew, I don't probably have to explain. For you to, uh, if you would somehow by mistake find yourself in this crowd, uh, wow, that would be probably your last one. That would not be a good place. You can see this, you can see what's happening. And yeah, these are some high German officers and Italians and stuff. Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler, look, he stops. They are all confused, all these officers. They jump behind him like a chickens. This is, ladies and gentlemen, also in Israel, a predecessor of Janis Jansha. Of this man who just handshaked with Benjamin Netanyahu. I really don't care. I gotta tell the whole truth. This individual was involved in MK Ultra. He tortured. Uh, he had some really heavy issues with me. He had a problem with me because the problem is I am from the partisan family. My entire family was already selected for the Auschwitz. They were already listed as good to go to the Auschwitz. My grandfather was a main secretary of resistance. He was a secretary for the city of the novel master during the World War II, and he was the main one for the city in charge of the resistance. He was the one who dealt, who brokered between the Germans, Italians, and Slovenian partisans on the other side and he supplied with information and his head was on the edge daily that's one thing as far as my mama her oldest brother was killed he was shot he was not let's just say he died in a battle with the germans but he had a gun in his hand he was a partisan okay so now if you want to know you want to match this it's going to be hard so we have a real conscious and a good reasons why we did not see each other eye to eye and he had a help from some other politician that unfortunately had you know political financial and also some interests from 
other people on his mind uh, I should say as priorities when compared to me but that's okay so now when you know when we settle these differences I'm gonna go and the only thing I will do is I'm gonna give you the whole background about this thing here so this is why this is why my anger with Benjamin Netanyahu um, he caused me a lot of problems and then he goes with the stuff like this it just I'm sure you understand me right let's go to the business here all right um, this is a this is referred to as a villa you know um, this side here this side this side was um, built what you see here this bricks here the windows this side here the top of the house uh, this was the first thing they they fixed okay um, when the hell this thing happened man this this is this is this is this we're again going back 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 in town in time this here not on this side I think this this side the only thing they did was they painted so it would look the same as on the other side you understand we are talking about year God knows my God we are talking about I have no idea this was the first thing that was done here maybe we are talking about the year maybe 98 I don't know okay frankly I do not know all right second thing they have done that I would recall of that I'm gonna tell you this here look here this garages that you see here this there was another garage up front something like this uh, and they tear that down the garages were not in a good shape one garage I think it was they took one down I, I think I think I think this is the way it was um, it might have been something like this and it might have been even the day that they improved this garage I don't know what the hell they have done one thing I'm gonna tell you another thing I will tell you is this thing here look you see the entrance you see this this uh, cement uh, no, it's not cement it's actually like a stone it looks like a stone and then you have a entrance on the left and you have an entrance on the right side okay now, this is the same thing here you see you have the same thing you same the same thing is here but no this is not the same from what I remember this thing here they have made an improvement this thing here this thing if I can properly recall they have done this thing so it would look the same as it looks here the next door this is another thing I'm gonna tell you but the first thing was this thing here and then I don't know what was it first was it this thing first or they played with the garage I don't know what they have done exactly to the garage I don't know have they reduced one have they increased one or have they uh, eventually even fortify one I see it's a cement block built I am just doing this like really on the fast on the go okay and then you have this thing here I want you to pay attention to this stuff here on the side of the building this now for better understanding I'm talking about this here also was done this like so th they decorated with this whatever they have done with this so it matches nicely this outside this I remember they were doing the job here too so that's also another thing that I think that they decorated on the side also the building okay but other than that that's the building it's the original just as it was I'm even telling you about the residents here way 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 past time why they are based in this house you know since this this idiot went after this girl they're based here in this house because they like Jews this is the party this is a political party the Jewish political party basically I'm not gonna say Jewish political party but yeah just as Jewish as a Slovenian just as this political party that represents everybody it's a political party for everybody who lives in Slovenia it's a political party that is fighting for the human rights human dignity against the fascism against the Nazism basically 
is a political party that every Israeli would want to have. And I'm saying this because this is concerning Jewish issues. So I want to come to the bottom of this stuff here. They paid very well for this. Um, they paid very good for this with the idea to actually even help me out. Tanya Fayon was involved in MK Ultra, and she was very motivated in helping me out. So that's all I want to say about this, really, really briefly. Uh, I don't know if Mr. Yansha already took off from Israel. Uh, probably he did, because he wouldn't tweet this. You see, he, he is a real tweet, this guy, like a Donald Trump. And that's why Twitter is for the tweets, I think. I think they're using this because they're a bunch of tweets. They go and they tweet when their ass is on a safe place. But he wouldn't tweet this stuff if he was still in Israel because he knew that somewhere here in Slovenia, yeah. This partisan movement basically is like this. Uh, these people, this Domobranci in Slovenia, like I said, half of the country already was occupied. It was, it was ripped apart. Uh, uh, one part of Slovenia is actually missing because of the people like this. I'm going to put it this way. Uh, yet these people, these people claim that they would serve uh, as a Slovenian government under Austria, under Italy, under <laughs> Hungary and stuff like this. I don't know how this will work out, who would try to understand this stuff. Uh, but this is basically what they claim, this was Domo Branci. Leon Rupnik was their big boss. Um, and um, after partisans liberated Slovenia, literally with, with guns in their hands, they took it back. Um, people like Yanis Yansha even came forward to tell us, uh, the teachers, uh, and it was because of the partisans, that we don't have a Trieste, that we lost the Trieste, and we, we lost, I don't know, what else the hell have we lost? I mean, if that makes sense to anybody. So, we definitely don't have a country today because of uh, Domo Branzi, because of the White Guards, you know, Bella Garda, Bello Gardisti. The, the, this, this was their second name. So, I don't know whether you are Israeli or you're Slovenian or wherever it is that you are, uh, I just want you to know what kind of snake this is. This is also the guy who stood up firmly for Donald Trump, just like Benjamin Netanyahu did. I don't know. I am not happy with it. A lot of Israelis are not happy with Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, but with what Benjamin Netanyahu did with his latest action that totally crossed borders of everything normal. That's not okay. Stuff like this is just not okay. I know there are certain things that are important uh, for the Israeli state. And I definitely want my best for Israel. I, I would like to see Jerusalem seen as a capital of Israel. I do because it's historically it's a Israel, it's a it's a Jewish city, it's a Israel, it's part of Israel. Nobody can deny that. Uh, but you know, if somebody's going to go and touch a politic, and somebody's going to go out there and challenge um, integrity of our moms, dads, grandfathers, grandmas that fought against the Nazis for their survival uh, on this land, then I'm going to see this issue as, as a completely different issue. This I have to, I have to explain. Definitely wish all the best to Israel. Uh, I wish you all the best, but uh, it does concern us. Uh, we have to work together against the common enemy. The enemy did not really change much. And so, we should stick together to our ideals uh, for good of humanity, I think. So, thanks for watching this video, and I have, I think, made myself clear about the last time the son told me, I think it was her son from the lady, I think it was a son, and I can, I can completely give you a physical description of him, how he looked like. I can totally give you a physical description because I can see him. The grandma, I cannot see her too well. She was not very happy to see me, but the son, I can give you like, I could give a sketch of how he looked like. Actually, really, there's no way I possibly would miss him. You would give me a photo if you would challenge me to pick the proper photo. There's absolutely no way I would make a mistake about it.
there's just no way it's just like a typical Ljubljana uh, you know face from Ljubljana basically and so I even recognized the people that were inside in there before this political parties moved and I think that both I understand that both political parties lodge in there so yes I do remember I remember a lot of stuff more than what you can possibly imagine and if I would go to that street I would get some more stuff and if I remember the Slovakian embassy this Slovakian embassy I'm not sure right I'm not really sure but I think they moved in the area like I can I think I recall that not so early but I would give like 2004 something like this 2005 I have no idea something about like I think that time the Slovakian embassy popped up in that street something like that too just a little further you know I could I would have to go eventually and walk around a little bit and give you more stuff and more and more and more and more and more uh, so that's what that is so I think you can give me credit for a few more things that if I wouldn't be brought from the US supposedly I never was between 95 and mid 2006 uh, until the August 2006 anywhere in Europe not Eastern not Western anywhere in Europe Slovenia is situated in Europe I would not know any of this stuff in fact I even know the politicians like I said no, that's what this is all about thanks for watching this till next time Nožice ljudstva se zbiraju na kongresnom trgu, da javno ispričaju svoje protikomunistično prepričanje. Podkovnik Krenar, povelnik slovenskih domobrancov, pregleduje častno četo. Prihod prezidenta pokrajinske uprave, generala Leona Rupnika. Časno četo in odhaje na tribuni. Sledi pozdravni govor zastopnika Župana mesta Ljubljane, gospoda Jančigaj. Dragi slovenci in slovenke, cenjeni zborovalci, visoko spoštovani častni gostje, Dovolite, da vas kot vršilec dožnosti župana glavnega mesta Ljubljane kar najtopleje pozdravi. To storim z veseljem, ker ste se v velikem številu zbrali, da pokažete narodno zavest in vašo nacionalno solidarnost. Posebno prijetna dožnost me veže, da pozdravim prezidenta pokrajinske uprave 
Divizijskega generala Leona Rupnika. Dalje zastopnika skupinskega vodje in generala Rezenerja, štabnega šefa podpolkovnika Vilema Blecherja. Nemskega upravnega svetovalca pri pokrajinski upravi gospoda doktor Hermana Tovjaka. Gospoda podpolkovnika vodjo za propagando tiskim kulturo Erich Badeja. Njega preuzvišenost gospoda Škofa doktor Gregori Rožmana. Nemškega konzola doktor Milerja. Dalje, zastopnike Nemške vojske in slovenskega domobranstva. Želim zborovanju najboljši uspeh. Ko gori doktor Ljudovik Puš, načelnik informacijskega oddeljka pri šefu pokrajinske uprave. Danes namreč hočemo iz srca slovenske domovine, iz naše Ljubljane, glasno in odločno povedati svojemu narodu in vsemu svetu tole, da sovražimo iz dna duše komunizem in odločno zavračamo njegove z bolševiško-judovskim in bogataškim zlatom plačane zločinske hladce in oprode, ki hočejo napreliti slovenski krvi in na požganih domovih ustoličiti sovjetsko oblast. Da odklanjamo vse in vsakogar, ki po kapitalističnih računih z našo srčno krvjo varanta in našemu narodu zavoljo svojega dobička s poživljenju streže, poživljenju, do katerega imamo polno pravico. Da pa ljubimo z vsem žarom srca svoj narod in njegove vrednote. Ponosni smo na svojo kulturo, na svoje dragocene značivnosti, na svojo globoko vjernost v Boga in na vsa svetla izročila, ki smo jih prejeli od prednikov. Da vroče ljubimo svojo prelepo domovino, da prečudni Boži vrtec v osrčju Evrope in da smo pripravljeni braniti njega in narod na njem pred zločinsko osvobodivno fronto in njenimi pomagači do posledne kaple krvi, ter tako v skupnosti evropskih narodov doprinesti svoj delež za ohranitev krščanske Evrope in končno, da hočemo in da tudi bomo v tem usobnem boju zmagali, zakaj na naši strani je resnica, pravica in vsemogočni bok. Govori gospod Izidor Cergol, namestnik načelnika informacijskega oddelka. Okretali ste, gospoda bolševiški platanci, borbo za osvobojenje. Začeli boj proti okupatorju, kot pravite. Povejte nam, koliko teh okupatorjev je padlo v Ljubljani? Koliko si jih kot vse ustrelili v slovenski prestojnici. Čudi nas, gospoda 
Ushriki, da su vse te okupatorske žrtve nosile slovenska imena. Vse razne ene same so bili slovenci. Vse jih je dojila ista mati kot vas, borilci. Vse te žrtve so pile slovensko mleko in slovensko uspavanko in je mati pela ob zibelki. Ali je to vojna proti okupatorju, vas sprašam? Ne, mi dobro vemo, da je to vojna edino in samo proti slovenskemu narodu. Govori domobranski poročnik dr. Sanko Kocipar. Rojaki in rojakinje. Govorim v imenu slovenske domobranske mladine. V slovenskem domobranstvu zbrana slovenska mladina iz vseh stanov je v svoji borbi za življenje in obstoj slovenskega naroda s pričo komunističnega ogrožanja skrbjo zapisala svoj program program preporoda domovina narod bok v tem pa je obsežen tudi naš sedanji in bodoči nacionalni in socialni program ki bo postavil vsakega slovenca na njemu odgovarjajoče mesto in ki bo vsakemu plačal po njegovem delu in zasluga. V tem programu pa so danes slovensko domobranstvo, slovenski narod in rutnik eno. Govori gospod prezident, General Leon Rupnik. Na počev je skrajni čas, da se vsi v resnici z narodom povezani elementi iz obraženstva zberejo in tako skupaj s kmetom in delavcem naredijo konec izvajalskemu početju pojedinih asocialnih, egoističnih, častih letnežev in materialistov. Slovence lahko reši samo zmagovita Evropa. Evropo, Evropo pa more pripeljati k resični zmagi samo Nemcija. Povsem jasno je, da bi prav tako, kot bi morali propasti vsi ostali evropski narodi, če se ne bi ob strani Nemčije bili proti svojim zunajim in nostranim sovražnikom, propadu tudi mali slovenski narod, če ne bi z edinjenim trdu izpolnil svoje evropske dolžnosti in obveznosti. Če se celo Rusi, Ukrajinci in Kavkaški narodi mnogo številno in zelo hrabro bijejo proti bolševizmu in velebogataštvu, Se moramo tudi mi slovenci, ki bivamo na 